Chapter 3, The Quirky Quarters of Hogwarts The day of Harry's departure to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry arrived, and he found himself at the Bazaar King's Cross Station. To reach the school, he had been instructed to find Platform 9 and 3 quarters. He thought it sounded like a math problem from an alternate universe, and he wasn't entirely wrong. After searching for a while, Harry spotted a group of students dressed in glittering, polka-darted robes and dragging floating trunks behind them. They were in heated discussion about their favorite flavors of chewing gum. Excuse me, Harry ventured, could you tell me where to find platform nine and three quarters? One of the students, Luna Lovegood, who was wearing upside-down glasses and had a pet nargle perched on her shoulder, looked at him dreamily. Oh, it's right this way. Just run at the wall between platforms 9 and 10, and don't forget to hop on one foot while reciting the alphabet backward. It's the only way to make it work. Harry was perplexed, but determined. He followed her peculiar instructions and, with a leap and a mumbled backward alphabet, he suddenly found himself walking through the wall, as if it were made of jelly. On the other side, he was greeted by a magnificent sight. The Hogwarts Express, a train adorned with flashing disco lights, fluffy pillows, and a built-in popcorn machine, was ready to depart. The students were bustling about, some playing magical card games while others danced to a live band playing tunes on a tuba and a banjo. Inside the train, the compartments were filled with wizarding newspapers that updated their headlines every few seconds, and chocolate frogs that had a palm charm for reciting Shakespeare. The journey to Hogwarts was like no other, and Harry felt like he was on a never-ending carnival ride. Finally, the train arrived at the Hogwarts station. Harry stepped onto the platform and was greeted by none other than the headmaster, Professor Albus Dumbledore, who was juggling flaming sherbet lemons while wearing a neon top hat. Welcome to Hogwarts, Harry. I hope you enjoyed the wild ride, Dumbledore said with a twinkle in his eye. Harry was utterly astonished, but he couldn't help but smile. He knew that his time at Hogwarts was going to be filled with wacky adventures and magical surprises beyond his wildest dreams. Note, this is a humorous and entirely fictional reinterpretation of J.K. Rowling's work and is not endorsed or affiliated with the official Harry Potter series.